Alright, so this will be my review on the Traxxas 6 amp Ease Peak Plus um, battery charger, I guess. So what you'll find that comes in the box is obviously the charger. You got a nice instruction manual, very nice. Um, a power cord, um, a charging cord that plugs in to the outputs here, red to red, black to black. Um, and actually there's a few different charging cords. This one has the Traxxas patented connector on it. Um, and the other ones that you get are just your standard normal terrible battery connector I guess I don't know what they're called I never use them I have all Traxxas connectors same thing with it and um, I forget what the name for this one I believe it's something like JVX. I, I have no idea. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong or said it wrong. I have no idea, literally. Same thing with it. And um, you'll also get a LiPo balance board or adapter. That's upside down. So you can charge. Uh, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, or 6S LiPos. This is the plug, and that is where the wire goes. So you just plug that in, and then it plugs right into the charger right there to charge. Um, I'm going to plug this in. And what's nice about this charger is that you have oops, the regular plug-in for a house or you have DC or battery plug-in so you could actually take this out to a trail or a field somewhere and however you got there whether it was motorbike, car, truck, quad, ATV, UTV, you could plug it into that battery and it would work. Um, so here. These pieces of tape, they're just mental notes for me for uh, individual lipo cells, minimum and maximum voltages, and three cell lipo, minimum and maximum voltage. Um, so you won't be able to read the screen right now. I don't know how to set up my camera, so you can, but so yeah, this obviously when you're charging or discharging lipo batteries will plug into the side. And um, the main kinds of batteries I use are these Traxxas power cell 7 cell batteries and I also have two 3S 500 milliamp lipos. This sticker ripped off of this one. I don't really care. Um, so yeah, I charge these, you can charge them on 5 amps, and it takes about 68 minutes, so it's just over an hour for these at 5 amps. And for these ones, I'm not really sure, these are a 5000 milliamp battery, it says right there, but I don't know how long it's taking to charge. Um, the nice thing about this charger is it will actually tell you how long it's charging for, what the voltage is, um, what it's charging, whether it's lipo, nickel metal hydrate, lion, it actually has PV which is lead battery, I've never heard of that, and life batteries and a whole bunch of different settings and it will tell you how many milliamps it has put into the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and these batteries I think I need to cycle them a few times because I haven't used them in a while. 
but instead of that, I'm gonna try discharging them to their minimum voltage and then charging them back up again. So, I'm just gonna plug this in, select a nickel metal hydrate battery, and it says nickel metal hydrate charge, current five amps manual. I don't want to charge, so I'm gonna hit the next arrow and it says nickel metal hydrate discharge. Two amps is the maximum you can discharge a battery and the minimum for these packs are 6.3 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold enter. And it says battery check weight. For LiPo batteries you have to confirm. For these you don't. It says nickel metal hydrate um, 0.9 amps. That changes pretty regularly. It says 8.93 volts, and that's going down. DSC, which stands for discharge, I think. Uh, 22 seconds, and has five amps. Now, in discharge mode, that means the, the amount of milliamps that it has taken out of the battery, I believe. I'm not gonna go through all the features that you can do with it, obviously it's a battery charger, you charge batteries. If you want to figure it all out, um, go to your local hobby shop and just ask the person there about it. Ask them if you can read through the manual. There's a whole bunch of good stuff in here. You shouldn't ever lose these. That's pretty self-explanatory, but it just goes through all the settings and menus and whatnot. So. I keep that on hand. And actually, I'll just push this out of the way. For charging LiPo batteries, I have this box. It is a 50 caliber uh, army surplus ammunition box. It has a very heavy duty rubber seal around the edge and a very heavy duty Clasp. So, that, if there ever is a fire, this will keep it outside, or inside the box rather, and it won't be all over your house or wherever you are charging your batteries. Um, eventually, I will end up mounting the charger on the side, like this. I don't know if I'll make a little stand for it so that it's upright and I can read it, but I am going to mount it on the side and I'm going to drill a hole and seal it afterwards for um, just the Traxxas charging wire here and the LiPo balance board thing jig. So then those will be inside and I can close the lid while I'm charging the batteries. Um, I haven't had much experience with many different chargers, but to me, this seems like one of the best chargers that you would find for under a hundred dollars. So yeah, it's a great charger. It has a lot of features. Um, you can program cutoffs and safety timers and there is Actually, there's an additional sensor here, or port. You plug in an additional temperature sensor, sold separately, of course. Traxxas always does that. Um, there you can actually see the screen and what's on it. Uh, you can actually plug in a temperature sensor, as I was saying, and wrap it around your battery so that if it gets too hot, it'll actually cut off the charging or it'll have a temperature cut off so it'll stop the charging and then that may keep your batteries from starting fire. So that's my review of the Traxxas 6 amp Ease Peak Plus battery charger. Uh, I think it's a great charger. If you're looking for a good charger for under $100 I would suggest getting it. Um, Leave comments if you want to, subscribe, don't forget to come back for more videos, and leave a thumbs up if you like this video.
Bye.